Hi everyone, I'm going to show you this Acerbis or Acerbis uh, knee protector. I've had these for one season and I'm basically wearing these all the time. I've been wearing these all the time. I even crashed in them off-road. Uh, it was a, a little crash at 20 km per hour. Alright, so I'm going to put this away. So, uh, Acerbis is an Italian company. These are made in China. This is hard plastic. It looks carbon, but it's not. This is, uh, I think it's aluminum from, I think from here to here on both sides. Uh, there is this uh, knee protector, which is flexible. And as you can see, there is, it's, uh, it, there is only one hinge. So it doesn't exactly mimic the movement of, of the knee, uh, but it's, it's good enough. All right, so the plastic is sturdy. Uh, uh, yeah, about the sizing, I'm uh, at 186, and I find this part a little too short. So this should come up until up to here or something like that. So it, it can protect against this kind of and this kind of uh, of movement better. Okay, so the inside is uh, neoprene. It's uh, oh yeah, the name is Gorilla Knee Guard. Sorry, I forgot it. I will put it in the title anyway. So it, it's a neoprene or neoprene um, inside, uh, which is soft and thick. It's like those uh, scuba driving gears or something similar. And then there there are these velcro straps. Now. Uh, yeah, uh, so basically I only have one problem with this knee guard, these, it's these straps and uh, and this uh, inside, I don't know what to call this. This is uh, very warm because it's so thick, um, you can get a, it really strongly grips your, your leg, but it's, it's warm. So you can wear this only up to 25 degrees Celsius. Maybe without uh, without uh, uh, um, trousers, so motorcycling um, pants uh, like short short pants and boots and this, and maybe you can go up to thirty, but uh, you will sweat. Okay, and uh, I I don't know if you will be able to see this, but this uh, this already started to. To loosen uh, like uh, short hair or something so after one season it doesn't really grip anymore and the same with the straps so this comes around and it comes back here and this here is already gone so uh, when I put it on sometimes the straps uh, come loose and um, and so I contacted the dealer. The dealer said he cannot do anything. Uh, I should take it to a, a somebody who fixes it uh, uh, on my own cost. Uh, and I wanted to, you know, it's been a year old, so I offered I'm, I'm even going to pay for straps. But uh, he said he already tried to contact Acherbis, the company and uh, they won't sell these straps or this inside separately. So I contacted uh, Acherbis myself and we are in the process. We are communicating emails going uh, there and back and we, it's a little small fight basically. I want them to sell these separately because uh, it's, it's uh, it not uh, only them, it's all the companies who are making knee protectors if you don't crash it, then this part will last forever. But uh, the straps are uh, for one season only, and you cannot buy them separately, which is uh, ridiculous. You have to buy the whole thing again, and you can basically uh, throw this in the bin. And this is also from an environment protection point of view, um, stupid and short-sighted and everything. Now, so this was about the problem, uh, it, it's, a, it's a very good knee guard, and I'm going to show you why. So this 
inside you can take out take out like so and I will reveal the inside structure for you okay so can you see it? yes you can see it okay so this is the inside it's plastic you can see it's molded from two materials together and I've chosen the floor because if I'm wearing it without the pants it gives me more visibility a little bit more every bit of added uh, visibility counts on the motorcycle I think so uh, this is very sturdy material it's like three millimeters I think okay the knee protector as you can see it attaches to this neoprene with velcro so it's uh, detachable it's you can adjust it a little bit and uh, yeah it, it counts so those millimeters really count I don't know what's this here never mind but the the smart thing here inside is there is another other uh, plastic part inside this neoprene can I take it out never tried no so you cannot take that out yeah put it soak together but it, trust me it's here from from here to here so um, yeah when I crashed at that slow speeds I I, fe I didn't feel any hard material hitting my shin bone I think it's called my lower leg because there, there is this extra uh, extra plastic inside this double layer of neoprene so it's uh, the design of this knee guard is good uh, I don't say very good because this should be a bit longer and 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 because uh, because why not yeah otherwise it's good yeah one more thing that uh, these straps this was this came apart at the first attempt I tried to uh, put it on oh yeah these are numbered so uh, in what order you should uh, strap them okay so it's uh, it's not for the hot summer days but uh, but it, it's going to to save you from a lot of injury it depending on the speed obviously but uh, yeah and it's 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 very affordable so it costs around hundred and twenty US dollars hundred and fifty US dollars something like that um, yeah so hundred and thirty euros uh, yeah and um, yeah uh, so at this point as I said I'm waiting for Acherbis to get back to me and if they do get back to me I'm going to post their reply in the description of this video so maybe by the time you are watching this uh, I already have uh, uh, information whether they are finally going to change their policy and sell the insides separately or not um yeah it would be really a shame if they if they uh stick with their um policy not to sell these uh, inside separately or at least at least the straps okay um what else is there about it yeah there's two points where you can fix these straps here too and uh yeah it's it's very sturdy i'm trying this kind of movement nothing and i'm trying this kind of movement nothing so it's and also this way so this is this is dirty it's heavy too it's a little heavy too yeah and and when you when you put it on you need to learn how to put it on um yeah after you you fix the first one first strap then uh, you have to and i what i do is i pull the the bottom part up and then I I fix the second the the top part and the second uh, 
second second step and then the third and then it will uh, it will be it will stay in place and be a, be a good place uh, yeah and yeah it's it's a little pain to put it on but uh, yeah I'm I'm trying to wear this all the time uh, but uh, so it's it's I think it's not really designed for adventure riding riders who wear it all the time but for mainly for motocross riders this is a, a more affordable option for those guys all right um, yeah I'm making these quick reviews because uh, it's hard to find uh, uh, good quality uh, motorcycling gear and uh, please if you uh, have good gear uh, put a video up and uh, and and let us know because sometimes even these big brands make mistakes or are um, consciously cutting corners and um, it, it's really a pain in the ass to you to to find um, uh, good quality gear and it's uh, I, I got tired so that's why I'm making these uh, these videos I'm not sponsored by them but if you have watched the video you you already know that okay on the pegs out <laughs>